Hey there, hello there, hi. I'm gonna start this video off by saying I've got a new giveaway pin. We have the whole cake and the cake slice giveaway pin, shop pin eventually, we'll see. I did announce this in a video last week, but I also forgot to add tags to the video. The views, oh, awful. <laughs> comments, lovely, love the comments, thank you so much. Do, do we know how to work this site? No, no I don't. <laughs> Do I care? No. But if you'd like a chance to win my golden pen, please leave a nice comment down below. It's new, it's fun, it's fresh. I've got a canvas here, and it is a lot bigger than I would like this project to be, but here we are. I do not have a smaller canvas today. For this project, you will need masking tape and a sponge. The first thing we're going to do is mask this off. We're going to find out how I want this to be. Um, if you ever need a straight line when painting, do use masking tape. People who don't understand art, when they talk about your piece later, like, oh, how'd you get this straight line? And you say, oh, I use masking tape. And they go, oh, you use masking tape. And it makes you feel worse, as if you're no longer talented because you used something, a, a tool to help you do your art. Don't let that person make you feel bad. <laughs> who cares? I think I've done it done more than I wanted to, but it's okay. Here's a close-up of what I've taped off, and today we're going to be doing a different sky scene in each of the sections. I'm putting the paint directly on the canvas, and here I'm applying purple, blue, a little bit of light blue, as well as some brown. We're going to cut up our sponge. This first one is going to be a bit of a stormy sky. Purple and brown tones really help towards that. And we're blending back and forth here, and to do that you just dab the sponge around. I love blending with a sponge, it's super easy, super simple. I did add some more light blue here, and magically it just kind of starts to look like a sky. Painting's fun, it's interesting, isn't it? I'm gonna add some streaks of white in there, and then I'm gonna go back and blend them. Again, blending just means dabbing your sponge back and forth. And then once we're done with this section, we'll move on to the next one. The next one, I am using white and blue mainly, keeping the lighter tones in the center and more the blue tones around the edges. This is all just the base coat though. We are gonna be doing a top coat of paint, meaning we're painting it all again for each of the sections as well. This next one, I'm doing darker tones on the top. So we've got black, blue, and red. And then I have a line of white at the bottom and we're gonna blend that up into a base cloud line. This one's gonna be one that will look good at the end, but it will not look good at the start. <laughs> I have purple, red, orange, pink, white, and a bit of blue. And as I blend it more, it just you kind of lose some of the tone. So it really will need a top coat for this one. <laughs> the next one, I'm having purple, red, and yellow tones. So it looks like it's a blended sky of a light yellow to a purple. That's the wonderful thing about a sky, is you can make it any color you want. You can just have fun with this. This is essentially just a practice painting technique, allowing yourself to try out a bunch of different types of skies all on one canvas. Then I'm gonna try to do blues and greens for this base one. I know, a green sky, fun. <laughs> Another light blue one. And then the top one's gonna be yellow and blue mixed together. Now I go for a top coat. I've now put my paints on a palette and I'm gonna be using my brush to paint on the same tones that we created during the sponge technique. Also add some highlights and create some actual definition. <laughs> Here I'm adding some white lines. This next one, I'm highlighting all the colors I used again. So I've got the red, the blue, and the black blending them all up top, and we're gonna add some more definition to the clouds below. And for each of these blocks, I am completely repainting them with a new layer of paint. This is what I call the second coat. A second coat of paint always makes a painting look better. It fills in all the cracks. and gives you a chance to rework everything you've done. It's very frustrating going for a second coat, I will say that though, because <laughs> you kind of want to be done the first time, but you're not. And this one, I can finally make it look how I wanted it to look, which is with pink, reddish, purple clouds, a little bit of blue peeking through. There's an ice cream truck outside. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can. <laughs> Cool. Then on the other one, we're just making it more blue and some more yellow and it blends up to a little bit of green. Let's take the tape off. And then I cleaned up all the lines and decided I wanted to do more. <laughs> oh, the story of a painter. For each of these sections, I took the colors and I was like, okay, which Disney film do these colors kind of represent? And I put a silhouette of the characters from each of the films in each of the sections. This part's going very fast, but I spent a very long time coming up with the silhouette. That was a whole day actually. <laughs> Haha! -ha. Do I like this painting enough for that? No, no I don't, but here we are. <laughs> Add a treasure planet, god that one really wanted me a treasure planet, had to do it. Got a brave up there, and a Disney castle because I ran out of characters I wanted to do. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna repaint all the white lines with black now to match the silhouettes. Do I have a plan with this painting? No. Did you think I had a plan? Have I done this tutorial before? What have you got yourself into? Oh no. <laughs> And then on each of the characters, I added a little line of color to that kind of represented the character. I just felt like it needed a little bit more of a pop of color in each of the silhouettes, just something. And added some stars and sparkles to the castle sky. Why not? I'm gonna finish this off by adding some Mod Podge on top. 
I tend to say varnish for the pieces that are <laughs> proper. And I use Mod Podge for more of my tutorial based stuff and things that are more just fun pieces, things I wouldn't actually sell or anything. <laughs> we, we've lost the train of thought. Anyway, uh, here is the finished piece. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would put myself back on camera to just say bye, but I don't feel like getting my camera out again. And it's the end of the voiceover. Hope you have a lovely day and bye. Bye, 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 bye.